Now that we know a bit more about the Endeavour, let's jump on board the replica and have a look around. I'm here with Judith, who's going to take me on a tour. Can't wait. Let's do it. Let's go, Amelia. Okay. So, here we are. So, this is the amazing Endeavour replica. Pretty much how it was in the 1800s. So, we are actually feeling like the sailors would have felt. Up on the front of the ship, the bow, I like to give a clue. Oh. They had the 12 Marines on board and then the rest were scientific um, people and of course the people to run the ship. So for example the cook, uh, the carpenter, very important, the sail maker, as well as just ordinary sailors who kept the ship going. There were only men on board and just as well when you see the bathrooms. Okay, seats of ease. One on each side, depending on which way the wind's blowing. So that just drops right down into the... Into the ocean into if you're lucky. Ocean. Yeah, as long as the wind doesn't blow it back on you. <laughs> this is the mess area where most of the sailors would sleep, eat, generally relax. Judith, what were people eating? Well, usually porridge in the morning. For lunch, really, whatever they had. So if they caught a seabird, if they caught some fish. One important thing that they had a serve of every day was sauerkraut, pickled cabbage. And that was really um, Cook's idea to try and prevent the sailors getting scurvy, which was a pretty nasty disease if you didn't have enough vitamin C. So here we are in the Great Cavern. So this is where Cook would be drawing his charts. The mapping really, as he was going, um, quite amazing cartographer. And Banks and Solander and their team would be going through all of the specimens that they had collected and they would be trying to match with any um, species that they already knew of from the Northern Hemisphere. Is there any way to know what Captain Cook was like? We don't have any recordings, of course, but we do have journals, and Banks kept a journal, Cook himself kept a journal, um, different crew people from time to time. How do we know that this is what the Endeavour looked like? We can thank the British naval people for that, really, because they kept records and they kept plans of everything. It gives you a really good idea, don't you think? It's, it's it pretty does. authentic. Yeah. It does, it it's really does. I, I can't say it's, it would have been a pleasant journey. You're not running away to sea anytime soon, no. no. <laughs>